looking up Playboy Cardi a little bit, and like I haven't listened to a lot of his music, but I've listened to like some of it. You know? I think yeah. like the that kind of etheric, dark quality, you know, uh, it's something about it that that attracts pop culture. Because you, you think about like Fifty Shades of Grey, Dark Mysterious Person. And you think about uh, what was the Vampire? You had the Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What was the one with Jacob and Edward? Oh, and I can't remember it, but uh, you know, it's just like something about society is is encapsulated by that dark that darkness. Yeah, you know. So like <clears throat> proper thing. We ponder the dark. We ponder the dark. Some yeah. worship the dark. It's weird though. You remember when I was in high school? When we was in high school, all right. You had kids who would do stuff like that. Like they would dress real kind of freakish. Like it, it seemed freakish. Like they would wear like the jeans that was all like super super cut up super baggy the real dark just like the the eyeshadow you know what i'm saying all of that and it was like what's going on like what's going on at home like, <laughs> i felt like that you know what i'm saying because if i ever wore like started wearing all black in high school bro my mom would have been like <laughs> oh the all black cap <laughs> like a nigga, you can't come home in a black household talking about you about to be goth but maybe it's happy if you live in colorado maybe we're you know goth now yeah. no i had some buddies Not in Atlanta. i had some goth buddies mainly like some chicks they were just in my classes so yeah like, but i mean i listened to the music i just didn't dress like it you know what i mean yeah man when i think about like uh motionless and white oh yeah like yeah those those old old school bands like that like yeah they yeah, yeah. Some serious drops man Fuck, I'm just trying to think of one of their choruses right now. I can't. Look. Oh, man, so long ago. But like, Fun times. Yeah, it seemed like they kind of modeled themselves off like, uh, like a Marilyn Manson-esque. Yeah, let's be the um, <clears throat> screamo of Marilyn Manson. Primo era Marilyn Manson. You would see them at Warp Tour version of Marilyn Manson. Right. Right, right, right. I mean, like not version of, but like yeah. They had they took they took the vibe. You know what I mean? It's, I mean to me, I agree. Those bands are still torn, like Pierce the Veil and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't really hear too much of younger rockers dying. What that's like a <clears throat> new thing? Or oh, was like hip hop artists are mainly the ones dying? That's usually what I hear. <laughs> hip hop. <clears throat> Maybe some EDM. Yeah. Nietzsche. But, like, definitely uh, a complete insane amount of hip hop. Yeah. Why oh, you think <clears throat> that is? Nigga culture. Like, nigga culture? Okay. Bad connotation. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why are you here with all those, jewel all those jewels on? And why do I see you or know where you at? Huh. I'm, I'm going to take it. And in this younger generation, they just murk you for it, honestly. Honestly, they just murk you for it, honestly, completely. I'm trying to work on that Trump accent. I'm horrible Wait, at it. It's, oh, yeah, it's yeah, getting yeah. better, man. I, I haven't really been trying, honestly. Like, <clears> I've just been thinking like, about it. It's sounding less like you're trying to sound like you're finding your own Trump. Yeah, Maybe yeah. that's what Shane did, bro. Maybe he just, just found his own Trump. I always like to shoot guns. I'm big on guns. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I got arse. <laughs> Where do you shoot them? Yeah, I just go to rifle range. I really like getting a sniper rifle and try to go as long as possible. Yeah. That's what Austin needs is another great sniper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Maybe that's the secret. <clears throat> yeah, but um, niggas, I wonder, is it nigga culture or is it human culture? Because American culture is like, I mean, yeah. is it universal culture? Or is it universal? Is it multiverse culture? culture? Uh, is it a uh... fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going along with that shit, and then you said multiverse. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> you lead me on. Nah, like I mean, I mean it from the standpoint of all right. So American culture is we go over, we see some jewels that you got. Why you got jewels on over here? Oh. Y'all got the mother load of jewels underground. Well, we just going to take that shit. And if y'all get in our way, we're going to murder you for it. 
I feel like that's American culture. But it also could be hit him with a dirty bomb, not a clean bomb. <laughs> See, a real dirty bomb. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> shit. all right, I'm getting better on the dirty. Oh, like, I heard <laughs> <laughs> Shane Gillis, you better watch out. <laughs> oh, Shane Gillis is gonna be the new goat. Honestly. Dude, that was an incredible. What the motherfucker? Okay, yeah, all right. That's that's the truth. That was Shane. Now I'm gonna get attacked by wasp. Dude, that was Shane big and big up in you from like over the waves. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Shane, <laughs> a brilliant man, an intelligent man, <laughs> a great man, a great man. <laughs> he had that growl, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he had the growl down, bro. Because <laughs> I've like trained so long to learn how to sing perfectly. Yeah, it's hard to get the raspy and rasp in there, and you got to force it. Yeah, it's a little thing. The Ty Dollar effect, the early Ty Dollar effect. Rasp, you, no. No, he does sing full voice with rasp. Yeah, yeah, and he's the goat. Oh, yeah. Um, with a R and B hip hop cap, Vulture's flying, baby. <coughs> nah, bro, but like, dirty bomb. Uh, fuck. He's that's too much good. in. That was nasally. That's that was good. nasally. But that's good. Um, I, I heard it. I'm hearing it on every tip now. That was that's because like I know I you know, slim shady. You know what I mean? I can do uh... old. <laughs> a little like that Kim lady. Uh, uh, Yo, what do you think about like the way Slim has been rolling out on YouTube? I think he did a great job. Yeah, With, like uh, the seems like I've been getting like shorts. Yeah, like these kind of animated shorts. Yeah, yeah. You know, the cool way to promote the album or not? I think it was great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I kept seeing it all all the time. You know, right? You'd get if you were subscribed. Like, I remember, I would just, I'm like, I've never seen Eminem drop this much on YouTube. What, 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 what's going on? Like, you never get shit from Eminem on YouTube. I don't. Actually. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Then, like, boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely saw him, like, every day. Yeah, yeah. And I don't go looking for Eminem, generally. But I look at Eminem like I look at Andre 3000 from a purely bar standpoint, a purely, like, skill set standpoint like if one of the coolest people to ever or one of the best people to ever do a certain art form releases something new i'm interested i'm gonna go check it out yeah you know even if i don't listen to all their stuff so <clears throat> yeah 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 i thought it was dope that he came out with the shorts like on a regular kind of routine and i don't even look at shorts I'll, i the only right. shorts i ever look at is, is like if i'm trying to like learn how to do something really quick yeah, that or like people cooking Chinese food or like <laughs> steaks, burgers and shit. <laughs> straight <laughs> American food, straight to Asia. No stops in between. That's, so you, that's all the shorts I look at. And I'm just getting hungry as fuck looking at that shit. Oh, give me that. Wait, though. So, OK, so so you don't watch in YouTube shorts? No. Really? But you watch Instagram shorts. Mm -mm. Well, you would have to, like the reels. Because that's all they... Well, I only watch what I'm scrolling. I don't go search for shit and watch. That's rare. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're saying. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't scroll like that. I yeah, because I'll, 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 get, I'll get bored with Instagram quick before I ever have oh, to yeah. do extra stuff with it. You got to turn it off. And it's not even that the content is bad. It's just that you got to turn it off. Yeah. You, you can go into a Talesman. There will be times when I'm on YouTube and I just I'm scrolling like shorts because the content is kind of cool. But I look at it the same way. YouTube shorts are like IG reels. Something yeah. with the algorithm, though, that it gives you more access, makes you more discoverable on YouTube than on IG. And I don't know what the difference <clears throat> is in the algorithm. Yeah, I feel like IG just is like they, they're like, fuck you, pay me. Like, you're not going to get too much natural like cap going on over here you're not going to get a, a natural boost unless i mean you really 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 got to be trying to go like sexy red level viral like talking about your booty holes brown your pussy's pink on ig i mean even so it's like and it, yeah but who knows what that would do i don't right. know right but like, like um I, they could ban you if they just 
it's weird. Like, it's ah, the algorithm is so strange. But I think it's like a really good point when you think about what controls it, because apparently there are people who are designing these programs to run these algorithms. The idea is that it, their bias is implemented into these programs. So now we're dealing with the thoughts of a 27-year-old overweight white male who codes computers and designs algorithms and his biases about life and what he sees. Fuck those niggers. <laughs> you know? And so, like, like, not being a tech person... And some of the Latins... <laughs> and, I don't... and most women, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, that's the thing. They say, like, there needs to be more minorities or more diversity in coding, and I would agree. Just simple things like your fucking phone wouldn't like. I mean, it was a, at least a running joke on Instagram or whatever. I don't know if it's real or not, but you could open anybody's like locked phone with mm-hmm. like the face ID with yeah. any black person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like the AI didn't really know what to do with like nigga hair and shit. Yeah. The different various versions of it. Um, yeah, it's some things. The AI was having a hard time, like figuring it out, like trying to what to do with it. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's wild. Like I can't believe that somebody would design software function in such a way that yeah, all like, I mean, how would they do that with the skin color, the skin tone? Because like all black people don't look like. Yeah, so it's a very it's a it's a rainbow, just like a lot of other people, like Asian people. They got. It's just a lot of different variations, you know. It's we 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 don't look like one thing. I mean, in my opinion, I don't know. You think we look like one thing? <laughs> I mean, we have features that are like in common. Like my tech, my hair, my hair texture and your hair texture are similar hair textures. Yeah, yeah. Like cut a strand for me, cut a strand from you, and compare them. People are gonna be like, these are more similar than Becky's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, there's that. But when you look at our skin color, it's like, you might be like, oh, he's way different. But it's like, he's from Madagascar. He's from, you know, like, he's from Egypt. Like, it's, it's <laughs> like, <laughs> and I think it's just to choose, it's what metrics people choose to identify other people. If you want to use, like, phenotypes and physical features, then, yeah, like, we're all super different. But if you use the fact that all humans breathe, we all have noses and hearts and lips and and limbs and all of that. It's like, okay, we're way more alike than we are different. Oh, we're stupid alike, but no one wants to think that. Ah, we're stupid alike, but some people don't like to think that. Some of those people might be in the Republican Party at the present moment. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, headquarters. Like, yo. Headquarters. <laughs> HQ, baby. <laughs> Yo, oh, man. Straight up. Wild. Like, I don't feel like, you know, it's just going to be like on site with the cops now just because Trump gets an offer. I don't think it's going to be that. I do feel white people will take more liberties and they will have pride similar to the kind of pride that black people had when Obama was in office. I remember when Obama got elected, right? Mm-hmm. When, like, it was official. Yeah. My parents. And, like, family members and, like, the older ones, they were ecstatic. They were, like, looking through Obama's family history and comparing, and they were looking at pictures of Malcolm and Mark, or, yeah, and Martin, like, in the struggle and all of this. And I remember them watching Obama get elected. Great blacks. Yeah, they had tears in their eyes, like, I can't believe it and all of this stuff. And for me, I was like, great blacks. It was like, great blacks, good blacks. <laughs> The best blacks. I'm fucking doing too much. Ah, <laughs> no, it's bad. good. I'm trying. But yeah, yeah no, my bad. Cut dope. you the fuck off. Yo, what's up? No, that was dope. That's what Trump does. So that's good. There's one right there. This <laughs> <laughs> that girl. But now, like, he's one of the good ones. Let me stop. Oh. What was I saying? Your parents oh, were yeah, looking yeah, up yeah. like. They were sold. For me, it was Tuesday. Yeah, I didn't really have to, the biggest reaction. I mean, it was cool. I was like, oh, shit. Damn. I remember the Tupac song. You know, Things gonna change. But I guess it depends on what side of the political spectrum you're on. If you're a Republican, you feel like Obama was the worst piece of shit that ever walked the planet. 
if you're a Democrat, you probably feel like he was a great president. Folks talk about that, like he did things for gay people, but not for the blacks. Nobody's going to do anything for the blacks, though. Seated behind me on the stage there are the various representatives, and believe it or not, the blacks have actually won the first pick. Oh wow, that's the first lottery a black person's won in a long So why not have a... <laughs> that's why hip-hop sounds so cool when it's authentic. So when it's hip-hop, is authentic like Glorilla, and she's talking about eating fucking <laughs> fast is... food, french fries. What's up, Gap? Why you making your ugly ass back? I block your little ugly line, man. The number two medium a lot. What is Glorilla talking Somebody's about? Somebody's kids on them. Huh? Oh. That was, that's what she does when she likes a guy. He likes to use his gum as a condiment. Condiment. Put it on my french fries, that's what she said. But I'm looking <laughs> forward to it. <laughs> and some food, I'm going to still eat it. So if you've been not, I know my food, I'm going to eat <laughs> There's like a wall between the fetishization or the fantasy element of sexuality and... The realistic element of it. I mean, I think she really want to do that. I think she would, but when you think about like uh, there's a gross side and there's a lovely side of sex. The gross side can get glamorized. Sometimes. I think most of it's gross. Interesting. Yeah, most, most of it's gross. gross. There's mean, like a small little amount that's like the fucking Lion King, middle of the movie, <laughs> when Simba and Nyla grew up and saw each other again. Was like, let's go. I mean, what's the <laughs> what's the good part? Then, if most of it's nasty, or disgusting. Everyone just has different type of nasties they're into. Ah, yeah, I agree. And different levels of that. Yeah, that's what I said. I think there's a part of it that's really attractive, and then there's another part that's really disgusting. And I think that people like it makes me think about the whole Project Twenty Twenty Five thing, like. They're going to outlaw porn. One, how are you going to do that? Are they going to just make it to where you can't view certain sites? But they have to get all of the... I don't I don't know the backdoor channels of how government and I mean, internet companies are... It's like, going to be... I mean, intertwined. they don't have enough jails to fill up people looking at porn. The amount of people who are... Yeah, for sure. But... How are you going to get those companies that are making tons of money to like and have deals with these uh, hosting? And then a lot of people just use VPNs. Okay, <laughs> so how do you overcome that? I mean, all they can do, like, like you, if you go to Texas, you can't watch Pornhub. Really? Yes. I did not know this. That is complete fact. If you go to Texas, you can't watch Pornhub. <laughs> Unless you have a <laughs> VPN, then you can obviously watch it. Wait, oh, what is the v what else does the VPN do besides block you block you from getting like attacked or discovered? You can you can use addresses IP from addresses. any IPs, yeah, from all over the world. Okay, so you could be in Texas and then you are using an IP address from all over from somewhere in the world. Yeah, yeah, that allows you to get on the porn hub without yeah, people yeah. in Texas knowing. You. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, they can't. Yeah. You can watch their, what do you call it? Oh, uh, yeah, anything they got over there. TV shows, their, the apps. You see all their t all their entertainment. If you go to... See, they like me, man. I hate it. Oh, no, what I, the mic. I yeah. thought she was like... Hey, how long have you been doing this? <laughs> how would I know? <laughs> Maybe that's not the best place for that. <laughs> um... Yeah, but like, um, yeah, you can go to Serbia, watch the Serbian film. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can. I yeah. wonder how much I'm missing out on life by not being super technologically savvy. Like, you have to be tech savvy just to live in today's modern world to well, some degree. Yeah. But the extreme depths of, you know, people being able to unlock huge databases of information and streamline processes that take most people a month to do in a day with just the tech stuff That's crazy oh yeah shit's awesome like, i wonder how much i'm missing out on a ton yeah mr robot bro you gotta get on that tech cap the it cap hacker st hacker status yeah yeah so yeah the vpn you can watch porn from anywhere in the world anywhere 
So yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with that. I guess they're just going to be like, okay, you can't watch it here, and it looks good on paper. Yeah. Because there's too much porn that's already been made. Uh, they're probably, like, targeting... Like, I didn't read the... Obviously, I didn't read the, um, the whole 900 and whatever page manifesto that they're calling the Project 2025 handbook. But, like, I think the target is mainly, like, child porn. Oh. I would imagine. Because, like, humans are going to have sex, and they're going to film themselves doing it no matter what you do. So there's always going to be a potential for that film to be made public. Internet's not going anywhere. So what, are you going to ban people from filming, from using their cell phones? Or like film, or what, using cameras to film sex? Like, yeah, how are you going to know you just made some fresh phone porn? Right. How, how somebody can know right. about that? And if somebody can hack your phone and take it, take the data, then they can put you out there without you even knowing. So... Are you gonna be held responsible for that? Because you shot the film with your part, like in the privacy of your own home. It's like oh, someone hi- hacks into your shit. Yeah, you, anybody could get into your camera, log in wirelessly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's I'm not saying the average person could do it, but there's somebody who, if they needed to, yeah, don't use any random Wi-Fi's at like yeah. at restaurants and stuff. Just that. Um, so I want to get. They'll fucking look like they're the restaurant Wi-Fi. You go in there and then they just have access to all your shit. They're looking at whatever you look at. Yep. And I, I don't like again. You know, I don't, I don't have the slightest clue on how this stuff is done, physically done. Like people typing in commands on computers to make all this shit happen. I don't, I don't know what that process is, but. I can see the effect of it and where it's going. It makes sense, like you said, to have some tech knowledge, background. Should I also say, though, whatever your skill set is, tech or not, go hard at it and learn the tech over time to help you get better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unless your like, skill is a uh, serial killing. Let me stop. Yeah, keep. if you're a serial killer, you should be killing oh. at least one person a day. And you should be. <laughs> That's wild. Like the happiness in their face while they're like murdering Doing people. Yeah. Like psychopaths get a bad rap. You know, said supposedly under whoever the fuck did this in from uh, this study, one about one in a hundred people are psychopaths. Mm-hmm. And then people see horror movies. They see real serial killers, heinous people, dictators, heinous dictators. Dictators, bad dictators. Supposedly, the difference between psychopath and uh, just a fucking asshole serial killer, mass murderer, is sexual sadism. Sexual sadism can be amplified and fed tremendously by pornography. So I understand. Get rid of it. We have enough. Who else? We need to see new people make porn. Yeah, I think pornography depends on what angle you're looking at it from. If you're looking at it from a spiritual standpoint, then whatever you have personal experienced in your life is how you're going to view porn. Yeah, if you're looking at it from a human standpoint, though, where it's like, I just need a release. I need a way to calm down. I want to experience the closest thing possible to human sexual intimacy as possible in this very moment then it's like, why would you take that away from someone? But when you, it's just, again, it's how you look at pornography. And the crazy thing is that most of the people talking about pornography have watched pornography. That's how they could give you personal experience. I mean, pornography is not like, all pornography is not great porn. Porn can be very softcore, two dime pieces in Playboy, lesbian porn, and that's not even really porn. I'm doing it horrible. That's not good. That's not porn. See, that's that. See, there's levels to porn, right? That's what I'm saying. So when they outlaw all porn, yeah, like lesbian softcore dime piece. That's art. <laughs> Much closer to art than what was your first example? The dudes over forty. <laughs> yeah, and I got buddies who've been in those movies, and I look at them different. Like I, I've never read anything from Hugh Hefner. Curious as to whether he has written work, but if or if he wrote a book or if there's a biography, but 
So okay. many sins, he became a bestiality guy. Oh, yeah. No, that's another So level. many sins that he hooked up with. So there's a certain amount of tens. You got to pump the brakes on the tens sometimes. People don't know how to do it. I guess I wouldn't know if I was you, Hefner, if my whole brand and money was having beautiful yeah, young women come and do, I guess, like what photos in a softcore movie every once in a while. And these parties, it would get scary after all. You're just over here, just like like a dime piece, wop and body and loving on you should not just be like a, a hundred times, a thousand, two thousand, fifty thousand times over, like like you're eating regular Cheerios in the morning. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It has to. You you, you can't just live in Six Flags. Wake up. Oh, I'm gonna ride the Batman. Saying like you got all that access to all these like Playboy models. You're like the top. You're the yeah, yeah, yeah. you're the head honcho, and they're they're gonna smash on you if they think they they can get something from something tremendous out of it. Yeah, yeah. Like you got Playboy, then you got like girls giving all the wop away. <laughs> but like that's like, some wildness right there. The Playboy's wop-a-woo. cool. Playboy used to be like uh, Instagram models for like rock stars and actors and rappers and shit like that. Rich guys. Mm-hmm. You could go to a, you could look through a fucking Playboy magazine and find a fucking girl you're probably gonna end up with. Who knows? Maybe on accident. People were dating. You could date a you could date a Playboy model, mm. but like legitly, you're not like okay, I'm not trying to get any STDs that stay with me. Um, but this is back in the day. Yeah, uh, pre pre HIV. Kinda. I mean, yeah. But, um. Yeah, yeah it, it, it did start. It did start free. It started free. Yeah. It always starts free. God's like you're giving up too much uh, random information about Playboy and porn and stuff. We started out with Playboy Cardi. We're back Whoa. here. <laughs> this is the Playboy episode. Great. Yeah, Playboy's good. Honestly, I don't think the country. Sh- I mean, fuck what I think. They're gonna do what they do. But like, um, how conservative do you want to be? You want to be like some Quakers? You want to be like some, let's all wear like burkas, girls at least, guys just wear like, yeah, you know I mean, what regular guy clothes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you like, how conservative do you want? I mean, like, you don't ever want to see a chick naked. I don't think just a chick being naked. If a girl happened to walk by mm-hmm. and she walks behind us mm-hmm. and she's topless and now she's on the film, uh, we just, you know, what we got going on. Is this porn now? This is a good breakdown. But I think porn is generally like considered as somebody who's consciously trying to entice you to be sexually aroused. So just like a, but like a pretty, so like, hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Porn is supposed to make you get aroused when you want to masturbate. That's, if it doesn't do that now, but at the same time, a, a woman who's just walking by with her breasts out, especially if you haven't had sex in like 20 years, let's say. That probably is going to be like porn to you. Okay, so that's what I was trying to say. Um, so porn's not nudity. You mean porn distributed to a mass audience? Just being or on the nudity internet, distributed just being to on your phone, and, and happen to be uploaded by you or a hacker or revenge porn. Yeah, it's revenge like it porn. depends on who's given the. If you take like a French Renaissance or an Italian Renaissance scholar, and you know compare all of the art to sexy red they're gonna be like oh well all of the naked pictures that we have of women are tasteful and artistic yeah what if it's tasteful and artistic no like spread eagle so just but even the, na- the eagle being the, spread what's that the naked body bad? i mean first off here we should say this a man a, a heterosexual man should be able to look at a naked woman and control himself oh but holy shit he should be able to do that so, but they'd rather be in a fucking forest with a bear than a, with a, with a man. 